Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today, we'll be cooking stir-fried three-cup chicken noodles. And let's start cooking. Now we'll cook our dish. Heat up your wok using medium heat. Add in two and a half tablespoon of sesame oil. Put in about four thinly sliced ginger. We'll just fry them around, get the fragrance out. Add in three bobs of shallots, cut thinly like this. Put them in first. Same thing, fry until you can smell them. This is a variation of my favorite breakfast noodles. Once you can start to smell them, we'll add in our garlic. One whole bar of garlic, sliced thinly, put them all in. Mix them around, fry until you can smell it. Now it's very important to get this part right. We don't want to burn this, but yet we want all the beautiful fragrance to come out. Once this is done, we're adding our chicken. 550 grams of boneless chicken leg. I've taken off the skin, cut them into small pieces like this. Put them all in. I did not marinate them at all. Spread them out and mix them up. We need to semi-cook this until about 80% or so. I'll show you how they look like in a while. The aromatics will flavor up the chicken very nicely. Of course, we'll add in other ingredients in a while. But let's just sear the chicken through first. It's starting to smell really, really good right now. It's very important to get the moisture out of the chicken. Otherwise, this dish will not be fragrant. So you just need to fry this a little bit more. Once the chicken has turned white like this, we're adding our noodles. 450 grams of yellow noodles, put them all in. Mix them up. We need to fry them for a little while just to get the excess moisture out of the noodles so that later they can absorb the sauce much better. Basically, three cup chicken means three cup of ingredients, which is sesame oil, Chinese wine, as well as duck soya sauce. So once this is done, we'll add in our duck soya sauce, four tablespoons of duck soya sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce for the extra flavor. The wine we'll put in in a while, but let's add in a little bit of water. 200 milliliters of water. Now turn up the heat too high. Right, we'll fry this until they are a little bit dry. This to cook the noodles and make sure that the sauce is mixed well with the chicken as well as the noodles. We'll fry until we see bubbles rising up from the sauce like this. Okay, so now we add in the rest of the ingredients. Just mix this a little bit more. A small bunch of Thai basil which is also known as Jiu Chen Ta. Put them all in. Very beautiful flavor. Add in your favorite greens. I'm using Kailan over here. You can use whatever veg that you want. Half a teaspoon of sugar to balance up the taste, as well as a few dashes of pepper. Mix them up well. Wow, this smells really, really, really good right now. Now finally, we'll add in our Chinese cooking wine, Hua Tiao Jiu, three tablespoons of this. Now of course, for our Muslim friend, you can omit this step, splash it around the sides, and mix them up until the veg soften. This is going to be so good. Wow, smells really fantastic. All right, time for our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Oh, I love the smell of the Chinese wine plus the Thai basil. Really, really. Can't wait to dig into this dish. Mm. For those who have followed our channel, you know how much I love my noodles. This is really nice. Very flavorful. The taste of the Thai basil really uplift this dish a lot. So ladies and gentlemen, 
I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. See you. Bye bye. Yeah.